Hey there, welcome back. Today I'm diving into a topic that hits close to home. What kids should really be having for breakfast. So if you want your kids to eat well, you have to teach them what the food does in their body so they understand it. You need to tell them that protein will build the muscles strong and protein makes them feel calm because that's what amino acids can do. It can make you feel strong and calm and that carbs will make them feel anxious and nervous and irritable and cranky. Give them a bowl of cereal in the morning before you send them to school and the next day give them eggs and bacon or whatever they want for meat. Nothing else, no fruit, just meat for breakfast. And then they go to school and have them see if they can see the difference. Have them write their difference that they feel. Make a little checklist. Did you feel cranky? Did you feel hungry? Did you feel tired? After you ate the cereal, have them check the box on which ones they felt. After you ate the protein, did you feel cranky? Did you feel hungry? Did you feel tired? And if they can fill that out and they can see what the food is doing to them, they will make better decisions. But you have to let them be little adults because that's what you're raising. You're raising an adult. If you take away their ability to reason and think, you're going to just make them kids for the rest of their lives. We don't want that. We want them to become adults. So they need to figure out those processes on their own. This is how you do it. As a parent, I've been on a mission to ensure my son gets the nutrition he needs to start his day right. Let me give you a glimpse into my son's morning's routine. Some days he enjoys peanut butter on toasted bread with a sprinkle of flax seeds, oats and a drizzle of honey. Other mornings it's all about the eggs and guess what? No sugary treats in sight. Now let's talk about those colorful cereal boxes lining the shelves. Ever noticed how they marketed as kid-friendly but loaded with sugar? It's not just a hunch, it's backed by science. High sugar breakfast can lead to energy crashes, mood swings and even long-term health issues like obesity and diabetes. When it comes to birthday parties, I've got my game plan ready. My son shows up with his own snacks. Yes. I'm that kind of mom. Because let's face it, store-bought snacks and fizzy drinks are a recipe for disaster. As a mom, I'm not here to win a popularity contest. I'm here to protect my child's health. Sugar isn't just a sweet indulgence. It's a silent poison lurking for our diets. And when it comes to our young minds and bodies, the stakes are even higher. Excessive sugar consumption can wreak havoc on children's health from hyperactivity to compromised immune function and beyond. Now let's talk about empowering our kids with awareness. I've introduced a simple checklist for my son to complete after meals. He compares to how he feels after eating proteins versus carbs and then vegetables. It's a powerful tool for the whole family to tune in to our bodies and make informed choices. At the end of the day, being a parent means making tough choices, especially when it comes to our children's health. So let's challenge the status quo, question the marketing gimmicks, and prioritize nutrition over convenience. Thanks for tuning in today's video. If you found this content valuable, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more parenting tips and insights. Together we can raise healthier, happy kids. Until next time, take care and stay mindful of what's on your breakfast plate. Subscribe to RJ's Antics for loads more.